Hi everybody, Gary Heidrich here, and boy do I have some good fishing reports for you today. Looks good for the upcoming weekend if the weatherman will just cooperate a little bit. We have a good report from Table Rock. Of course, a lot of activity taking place at Table Rock right now. The FLW big tournament is taking place. The Legends of Golf are here. Jacqueline, Nicholas, and all the guys are here. And by the way, earlier in the week, I had a chance to run into my old friend Bill Dance. Bill and I go way, way back. Got a good photo of Bill and I, and I got a good shot of Kevin Van Dam. He's in the uh, Tabor Rock area catching all kinds of fish. Good report from out at Truman. They've been picking up some hybrids and white bass below the dam. Crappie fishing on the main lakes getting a little bit better. Speaking of crappie, Lake of the Ozarks turning on a little bit more for crappie. Good report from Tanny Combe on Bull Shoals. We've just got a whole lot of fishing coming your way. Let's go now. <laughs> Hey, nice to be with you today. Here we are, well into the middle of April already. This has been a crazy April. Cool weather, windy. I haven't, I, I can't remember experiencing so much, experiencing so much wind like we've had this uh, early spring. And I know uh, it's just, uh, it's got to get better. It's going to settle down a little bit. But the, the fishing's starting to pick up real good. Somebody, I know what you're asking. Where's my buddy Tuffy at? Well, just a little bit ago, I dropped Tuffy off at the uh, groomer, and Tuffy is really mad at me right now. <laughs> so, okay, let's go fishing. You know, uh, a great friend of mine, before we get into the reports, I just had to show you this photo. Bill Dance is a great old friend of mine. Great, great. We go way, way, I mean way, way back. And uh, he, he's just a, a, a super guy. Had a chance to get with him on Table Rock the other day. We uh, talked about some of the old times and the old days, and uh, it's great to have Bill on Table Rock. Of course, he's here with the big legends of golf. You know, Jack Nicklaus is here, and Gary Player, Lee Trevino, and when Johnny Morse brings all these big, big golfers, these legends in, he brings the Bass Pro fishing staff in. And these guys get to take the, the, the sponsors and some of the pros out fishing. And boy, they've been catching a lot of fish. Look at Kevin Van Dam here. Kevin, he could catch fish in a bathtub, I'm telling you. He, all, he loves uh, Table Rock. In fact, he told me one time that Table Rock is the best non-grass lake in the country. He always catches a lot of fish when he comes to Table Rock. And he has been this week, that's for sure. Good picture of Kevin Van Dam. All right, you know, I mentioned it last week on the program is that if you're coming to Table Rock this upcoming weekend, bring your tackle box. It's the same thing this week due to the fact there's a variety of baits catching fish right now. And I'm talking about, you want to go Carolina rigging? You can catch some fish on Carolina rigs. I caught some fish the other day on the Ned rig. Spinner baits are paying off. They've been picking up spinner baits, up, especially in the off-colored, up in the upper ends of some of the creek arms and river arms. Slow rolling spinner baits just off the bank to about five to eight feet of water. Don't work it fast, don't work it slow, kind of a medium retrieve. Spinner baits, especially in the wind, and we have no problem with the wind right now. So spinner baits, spinner baits may be a good ticket for the upcoming weekend. Now, like I said, Carolina rigs, Ned rigs, spinner baits. Been picking up some fish on swim baits. That's been good. Picked up a couple of good fish on the on just the grub the other day. You know what I did? I usually like on the grub a quarter ounce uh, jig head with this wind, and I like that four inch tail. And usually I like that 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 that, that uh, smoke with the red plate. But what's been better for me is the salt and pepper. And I've been taking that tail of that grub and dropping it in some chartreuse color, some uh, color, and getting that tail all chartreused up with that salt and pepper, pitching that out, working it about, oh, about 5, 8, 10, 12 feet of water, boom, caught a couple of good ones by doing this. So you may want to try a grub this weekend. And they've been picking up some fish on jerk baits, uh, wiggle warts, gosh, you name it. So like I said, <laughs> bring your tackle box. All these baits will work. And so uh, they've been picking up some real nice fish, especially earlier in the week. Boy, they had some real nice bass. And I think it's going to hopefully be good for the upcoming weekend. And Table Rock, uh, speaking of jerk baits, I had Buddy the out the other day. I'm not going to tell you his name because he was supposed to be working. He took the day off sick day. And uh, he was using jerk baits on the points for bass, picked up two walleye. 
one eight pounder. So that's something you may want to try this weekend. If you want to try walleye, try some jerk baits off some of the points. Crappie fishing is getting a little bit stronger right now at Table Rock. They've been picking up some fish in the creek arms, uh, up in the James River arm. I was up there last week and picked up some crappie. And uh, it's, your jigs, use a little bit of off-colored jigs. I mean, I'm talking about pink, chartreuse, put some color into it. And they've been picking up some fish on minnows as well. Not only the James, but up in the Kings River, they've been picking up some crappie the last few days. I was up Long Creek the other day. Crappie fishing is good there, and that water's off color, so you have to use some color with your jigs. And, of course, minnows have been working in Long Creek as well. So uh, crappie fishing, picking up a little bit at Table Rock. Some around some of the docks, too. Check this out. All right, let's go to Tandacomo. They've been uh, picking up some uh, trout out there. It's been fairly good for the people who've been out trout fishing. They've been running a unit or two, and so drift fishing has been good. The best bet, I, mean, I, I talked about this last week, I tell you what, night crawlers, just night crawlers. Cut that night crawler in two, use about half of it. Use just a split shot up above that small hook, thread that night crawler in that hook, and just drift it. Boy, the trout are really hitting this right now. And they've been picking up some fish on the Berkeley trout uh, worm. That little pink worm, that always works. I tell you what, and they've been using a float up above that trout worm, that pink trout worm, flipping it out towards the bank and working it back catching fish on the Berkeley pink trout worm, just like here. It will work. It always works. Spoons, little Cleo spoons, like silver blue has been working, and uh, silver uh, red, kind of a red colored. And they've been picking up some fish on small jigs. I love to jig fish on two-pound tests, and right now you can catch fish on jigs on Lake Tanicoma, two-pound, four-pound, little 64-ounce jig, brown or olive green, pits that out, Watch it go down. It takes a little bit for it to go down. Then jig it in, work it in real slow. Oh, that's one of my favorite ways to catch trout. So trout fishing pretty good at Lake Tanicomo. Let's go over to Bull Shoals. You know, it's been windy, cool out there the last couple of days, but there's been some fish caught for the few people who've been going out, much like Table Rock. They've been using Carolina rigs. They've been using jigs. By the way, I overlooked this, but jig fishing around some of the docks at uh, the Table Rock's been doing good, just like Bull Shoals. Shaky heads, jigs. I like that brown jig. I like a trailer with a little bit of color. Uh, chartreuse orange. Try this around the docks. And uh, they've been picking up some fish on grubs. And uh, the Ned Rig, both Table Rock and Bull Shoals. And it gets real tough to go to the Ned Rig. And spinner baits. Spinner baits at Bull Shoals. Get back into the creek arms, especially with the wind. Here again, you're not going to have any trouble we have wind. Slow roll that spinner bait right off the bank. That will work. They're still picking up some fish on uh, wiggle warts. That all, that, and use a wiggle wart brown with a little bit of chartreuse and char, uh, orange. That always works. And so I think you can catch some fish at, at, uh, at Bull Shoals this weekend. Any of those baits that I talked about. And they've been picking up some fish too. Uh, some crappie, I should say, like I said, on the docks and the deep water brush piles. And right off the bank, they're picking up some, uh, some, uh, some crappie as well. So Bull Shoals looks pretty good for the weekend. And uh, don't overlook the points and the flats now for walleye. It's getting that time of the year. Uh, you, can, uh, you can drift a night crawler, throw some crankbaits up off the points, some jerk baits. You might pick up yourself a walleye at Bull Shoals this weekend. Out at Stockton Lake, we've had mixed report. Not a lot of people fishing at Stockton right now, but they have been picking up some crappie. It seems like you need a, a pink, it's like a pink-headed jig with a chartreuse body, 16th ounce, working it right off the right off the shore, around the brush, let it drop down to 8, 10 feet of water. And also, you may want to just try a float up above a small jig, flip it up around the brush on the bank and bring it back. And they've been picking up a few bass mainly on wiggle warts at Stockton. Not too much report on, on walleye right now, but boy, that's going to get real good before long. Truman Lake, I tell you what, uh, I just, uh, I, I've had good reports on crappie, and I talked to other guys that just been having a hard time. But what I would do at, uh, at, uh, at uh, Truman this weekend, I would go to the, the Bucksaw area. I used to live in that area. I love Bucksaw area. It's always good this time of the year. You can use your jigs or your jigging minnows or minnows. 
and just off the brushy bank, they're picking up some fish, and they've been picking up some uh, crappie. I, if, I just, if I had to go to Truman and I didn't know where to go, I would just start at the major creek arms. I'd go to the major creek arms and start in the mouth of the creeks and work about halfway back. Keep an eye out on that electronics, find the shad, and you're going to have a chance to pick up crappie for the upcoming weekend. Some people are picking up their, in fact, look at Brian Peck here. He's a good fisherman. I always like to watch his uh, Facebook page because he's always catching fish. He was out a couple days ago and caught a nice mess. And uh, so people are catching crappie at Truman. Try it this weekend. Jigs, jigging minnows, get out there and get with it. By the way, below the dam at Truman, they've been picking up some white bass and hybrids. And uh, earlier in the week, look at this mess. Old boy picked up a limit of crappie fishing in about 15 to 20 feet of water on jigs below the dam at the outlet. So Truman looks good for the upcoming weekend. By the way, the water temperature is around 51 degrees there. And, uh, and uh, same way out at Bull Shoals, it's around 52, 53. Table Rock this morning was uh, 53 degrees. It's not getting up there like it should be this time of the year, but it, it's trying, it's trying. That water temperature is trying. One last quick report, Lake at the Ozarks. We've had reports of fish being caught, crappie being caught around the docks. We've had reports around the bridge piling, pilings, excuse me, been picking up some fish on the bank, the brushy banks, and so crappie fishing, there's been some limits caught out there this week, has really improved. So try your crappie fishing at Lake of the Ozarks this upcoming, with, upcoming weekend, and a few bass have been caught on jerk baits and uh, wiggle warts, and wiggle warts picking up some fish, but crappie fishing sounds good at Lake of the Ozarks this weekend. You know, the spoonbill fishing's wide open, they've been picking up some fish up in the James River arm at Table Rock. And uh, I tell you, I've had good reports at Truman in that Tally Bend area. I, I love to fish Tally Bend. I know the spoonbill fishermen have been doing good up there. And I used to love to crappie fish in that Tally Bend area as well. And uh, so spoonbill fishing's here. They've been picking up some fish, a lot of fish this year. Okay, I want to thank you very much for being with us on the big little show today. Uh, I tell you what, we've got a lot of viewers coming in. We've had uh, shows the last couple of weeks, 800. We had one two or three weeks ago, over 1,000 views, 1,100 views. Thank you very much. Be sure to like and share, and be sure to subscribe. Like I said last week, we've got a lot of new things coming your way, and we're going to bring them in in the middle of the week or early in the week. We want you to be a subscriber so you can uh, see these little quick reports we're going to be doing. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. Just push that button. It's absolutely free. You won't miss out on anything. We really appreciate it. And if you have any information, any photos, or if uh, any information you'd like to share with us, go to uh, well, email us. Email us at fishingchums at gmail.com. God bless you all. Love you. I'll see you here next week with Tuffy right here on Fishing Chums Fishing Reports. Have a good weekend.